Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now let us take the descent condition descent okay you know that this rotor is supporting thrust it is supporting the weight thrust is always up weight is down now your flow here is coming v please understand i have changed the direction okay and at this point i am putting because the rotor to support the weight it has to push the air down okay that means my nu is downwards v is upwards so i am going to write like this v minus nu is it okay because nu is down all right and then here it is again w is down because you are pushing the air down that means there it is coming i am using please understand some uh, book uh, see i don't think this is given in all the books okay and i find that the way i have written is much clearer in terms of the sign in terms of uh, the description but finally result is same everywhere okay so you see v is positive i am taking positive here later i will convert that but when i say positive means in this case the flow is coming up because this is for explaining the diagram i am showing okay later i will i can change the sign convention this is just to because otherwise because there is some slight change in the terms is this clear because it is coming you are increasing actually this flow is going down so the velocity here decreases velocity here further decreases but everywhere v is i am plotting it up now my mass flow rate m dot is rho a v minus nu but this is up please understand mass flow rate is in the upward direction but what is my thrust this thrust is acting on the rotor but i am writing the equation for my fluid so my thrust acting on the fluid is minus t change in momentum final minus initial final is v minus w minus m dot v please understand is it clear because m dot v is the initial m dot v minus w is the final and this flow is going by my thrust which is actually acting on the fluid is opposite flow is this way this is acting that is why i put the minus t okay now this will give me the value minus m dot w then you have to write the energy the power power is yeah no t equal to m dot w yeah it will become finally you will get t equal to m dot w okay now the power is because the thrust is down flow is up so minus t v minus nu please understand because the force is acting down velocity is up on the fluid here 
that is why this is and of course, the this is equal to the change in energy, change in energy is the final minus initial which is half m dot v minus w whole square minus half m dot v square. Again if you simplify you will get half m dot minus 2 v w plus w square. Okay. Now, again here you will be substituting minus t is minus m dot w put it here. So, you will have minus m dot w into v minus nu. Okay. So, these two are equal okay. because this is equal to this you will again find because this is plus m dot w m dot w go nu is actually you will get again this leads to w is 2 nu you follow again it will give the same condition all right because you equate because m dot w v this is minus minus both will cancel out and this is plus this is also plus you will get w is 2 nu. So, whether it is up down over does not matter the far field induced velocity due to the rotor disc is actually double of what happens at the rotor disc. Okay. Now, you look at your thrust because you got this expression my thrust is here. I okay. will be substituting this quantity here. So, let me put the thrust uh, right here, okay. but what is my t? t is maybe I can I erase okay. my thrust is because from here m dot w m dot is given here. So, rho a v minus nu w is 2 nu into 2 nu. Okay. So, now I will erase all this part. But please understand here v is nu is down as per this. Okay. Our hover condition as usual in hover this is what t is 2 rho a nu h square combine both of them then you will have this will go off. So, you you will get minus nu square plus nu v equals so you divide everything you will get minus of nu over nu h whole square plus nu over nu h v over nu h Okay. or in other words you can change the sign make this plus this is minus this is plus. Okay. Now, this is the equation for descending. Okay. Now, let us get the roots the roots of this equation are that is why there is a slight change between climb and descent that is what I am I wanted to say here. Because here in the climb case you had this as plus this was minus okay. whereas in this case it is changed 
that is why this is a little now let us write nu over nu h is minus that means minus v over minus b minus and minus this will become plus plus or minus root of b square minus 4 okay divided by 2 if i simplify this okay now let me write the root and uh, that is nu over nu h in descent is v over 2 nu h plus or minus here which root should I use? Because both will give you positive value. You follow? Is it clear? Because you will get, because this is same, you are subtracting one. Okay. So, therefore, this quantity is less than this and whether you add plus or minus sign, you are going to get nu over nu h is positive. Now, what root should I use? That is the first question. You will have both the roots. Another thing is this will become imaginary when v is less than 2 nu h. That means, there is no root. Okay. My, if my descent velocity is less than 2 nu h, I cannot have but when it is valid, that means my descent velocity should be more than 2 nu h, more than 2 nu h is what? Descent velocity, v plus 2 nu h should be positive. This is positive in the sense here it is minus means v plus 2 nu because I have taken v is a positive. So, v plus 2 nu positive which means this equation is valid only in the here. Okay. It is not valid in these places, but I will get a root. Is it clear or you have some confusion? Huh? Because you find you know that only when v is greater than 2 nu h that the velocity should be much larger than 2 nu h then this is positive okay then you will have a root otherwise it is imaginary you don't have you can't plot that curve also okay but both roots are valid implies that velocity must be much larger than 2 times the induced velocity at the hover rotor disc. So, what we will do is we use these conditions to try to write our uh, flow velocities and then maybe I will write that uh, now at the rotor disc, at the rotor disc is actually you have to add what? V, v plus nu, but actually v plus nu means what? I am having what? V minus nu at the rotor disc, far away v minus 2 nu. So, I must have v minus nu at the rotor disc and then far away I should write the other one. In other words, I can write it in this fashion either v minus nu I am sub, please understand, I put a minus sign here, minus sign, minus sign everything, which implies I must get what? This will be V over 
2 nu h this is again minus or plus that will be same. So, I can put a plus or minus it does not matter I wrote it V over 2 nu h minus 1. This is at the rotor disc at rotor ok. Now, please understand very simple now I can go and change the sign of the velocity term ok this velocity term minus sign then minus means what I am taking negative that is like a descending that means if I put V minus sign because here in this expression V is always positive please understand ok positive means it is descent here if I put a minus V then what will happen that V becomes a positive quantity I can always take that as the positive. So, you will find this expression just for the sake of plotting only ok. I will put V as minus then I will change all everywhere minus sign and then you will get V plus nu you will get it, but in that case you know V negative I have to go. I, my velocity is decreasing means descent velocity I must have V negative value ok. Because if I put here I have taken V positive for descent I will write minus V of minus ok. I can do it there and then this minus V I will simply call it as V you follow that means when the velocity is descending I will put a minus V if it is climbing because you will find that expression I get I do not have to keep changing the curve it is like one I will show the diagram then you will understand maybe if it is confusing I will tell you again you see v over nu h positive means I am climbing when it is negative means I am descending. So, for me to plot here when I want to plot the descent curve I must take this expression and then substitute v positive values here you understand instead of that if I put minus of v then that v if I put a minus sign that is actually descending <laughs> ok. So, you will get the curve I will draw this curve next class using these equations Maybe I will use the same equation and then show you hey, take this part that means you take this equation otherwise what happens is one set you can use that for the entire zone. Here I will just want to say this curve V plus nu over nu h positive I have taken because I will show two curves one is this way one curve is nu over nu h versus V over nu h that is this you follow this part only the induced velocity another curve is V plus nu over nu h that is the velocity at the rotor disc as a function of climb or descent because descent is this side climb is this side ok and this curve this particular curve is called the you know universal inflow diagram, but I will show the other diagram the next class I will plot using these equations we will plot the equations and then show that oh this is what is really given as the inflow and then all your auto rotation everything comes from here 
okay, and the region is split into several parts, normal working state, vortex ring state, turbulent wake state, windmill break state. You will see the curve, continuous line only here and here that is the solution is valid in this zone it is just a extrapolation of whatever route which you have obtained you are simply drawing that route <laughs> you follow even though it is not valid you will simply use that route that is what is being done in the uh, inflow diagram and then just this red this black patch is by experimentally you try to get a inflow, you can do that and then they are all plotted as the some patch. So, you approximate is basically an approximation please understand of the inflow in the region vortex ring state to turbulent wake state, you just draw like a line simply and that equation is what you use for auto rotation curve because you do not fly here because windmill breaks rate you do not want to go there to power generate power actually you are more interested only here V plus nu 0 that means the rotor flow at the rotor disc is 0 inflow total flow is 0 that is what my auto rotation is. Okay. That means, I am more interested in this zone, but I do not have a root, I do not have the solution will give me this curve and this curve. We will show that later next class, I will plot that this is just for uh, the passing I wanted to show this diagram. We will come back again and show how these two are plotted, climb, descent. Then you will see, oh this is what the whole thing is about in terms of inflow curve for climb and descent and then please it is non dimensionalized so that it is applicable for any rotor okay and this is what is used for auto rotation evaluation all right i think i leave you now we will come back to that in the next class